بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد أي رحمة في الله this is the fourth jalsa in our reading of Sheikh Muhammad bin Hadi Al Wadi Allah يرحمه his short short treatise entitled our call to the umma or هذه عقيدتنا or هذه دعوتنا وعقيدتنا that this is our belief, uh, this is our call, and this is our belief. And so we reach the first point in the treaties now, after we've introduced the beginning of the, of the treaties, <coughs> where the sheikh, he began the treaties, he said, نُؤْمِنُوا بِاللَّهِ وَبِأَسْمَائِهِ وَصِفَاتِهِ كَمَا وَرَدَتْ فِي كِتَابِ اللَّهِ وَسُنَّةِ رَسُولِهِ رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم من غير تحريف ولا تعويل ولا تمثيل ولا تشبيه ولا تعتيل. The Sheikh began the first point. He said, We believe in Allah and His names and attributes as they were mentioned in the Book of Allah and in the Sunnah of the Message of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم without tahrif, distortion, nor tawil, figurative uh, interpretation, nor tamthil making a likeness, nor tashbih, uh, uh, resemblance, nor ta'til, nor denying those divine uh, attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So with regards to that, this iman, this is the creed of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah, and the Shaykh is just uh, emphasizing that his da'wah, his creed, is that, that he stops where the Salaf stopped. He didn't add anything new. He revived the Aqidah of the Salaf and Minhaj of the Salaf of this Ummah in Yemen. And that was his da'wah. And as I mentioned before, prior, as the Shaykh said, da'wah to Ahl Sunnah, the, the, the call of Ahl Sunnah, he said, Rahimullah ta'ala, da'wah to Ahl Sunnah, da'wah to Nila Kitabillah, min Kitabillah, wa min. Sunnati Rasulillahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the Sunnati Rasulillahi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Kemakal So the Shaykh had mentioned that the, the Dawah, his Dawah and the Dawah of Ahl Sunnah that this is the Dawah, that it's built on Ikhlas It's not calling to groups and sectarianism and that's the point that the Dawah to Ahl Sunnah is not about Hizbiyah and he said Dawah to Ahl Sunnah the call of Ahl Sunnah is calling from the Book of Allah to the Book of Allah and from the Sunnah of the Message of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to the Sunnah of the Message of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That that is our call. Our call is to make ta'zim of Allah Azza wa Jal, is to call to the worship of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. It's not calling to us. It's not calling, you know, send me some money, join my group, join my sect, join my whatever, you know, join my minhaj. But rather, this da'wah is just, uh, it's for anyone. Anyone who embraces, who's a, a believer in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who worships Allah, who's a Muslim. And it's not reserved to any color, race, or anyone. But rather, it's, it's to that. It's the kitab al-sunnah. And so the shaykh said <coughs> that, uh, mentioning that, the importance of uh, that da'wah, he said, نُؤْمِنُوا بِاللَّهِ وَبِأَسْمَائِهِ That we believe in Allah and His His names and His sifat and His characteristics. And this is the this is a part of, this is one of the pillars of Iman. And we know Iman to Ahl Sunnah, it fluctuates. That Iman is sometimes high and sometimes Iman's low. That's for all, all of us, the scholars, everyone. Even though they fear Allah the most, they get high Iman and low Iman, but they're high in Iman high and low Iman is probably, is generally not like our levels. For example, when we, depending on who we are in society and so forth and, and our Iman, some of us when we get low Iman, some people watch a movie. Some people watch pornography. Some people go out and commit zina, so everyone has a different level. Some people, they don't watch movies at all. They have some other vice or some other form of 
uh, sinfulness that they, you know, that decreases their iman. And the point being is that iman, it increases and it decreases. It increases with obedience to Allah and it decreases with disobedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that iman is also made up of statements of the tongue. So taking the shahada, shahada is part of iman. And moving something harmful in the road is a part of iman. That, that's a physical thing or praying. <clears throat> as well as what's in your heart. So Ahl Sunnah believes iman is made up of all three of those components. That you can't have one without the other. That all of that makes up what's called iman or faith in Islam. That it's actions, it's deeds, and it's contained in the hearts. It's, it's, it's deeds, it's what's contained in the heart, and it's uh, statements of the tongue. And there's so much nasus to illustrate that for us. For example, the hadith of Abi Sa'id al-Khudri radiallahu ta'ala'inu, where he said, مَنْ رَعَ بِكُمْ مُكْرَيْ فَلِغَيْرُهُ بِيَدْ فَإِنَّمْ يَسْتَطَيْفَ بِنِسَانَيْ فَإِنَّمْ يَسْتَطَيْفَ بِقَلْبِهِ وَذَعَلَكَ الْعَنُفُ الْإِبَانِ رواه مسلم The hadith of Abi Sa'id al-Khudri radiallahu ta'ala'inu, where he said, whoever sees an evil from amongst you, then change it with his hand. If he's unable to do so, then change it with his tongue. If he's unable to do so, then change it with his heart. And that's the weakest of faith. So at the, the shahid here is the Prophet Sallallahu named all of that a part of faith. He said, that's the weakest of faith is hating in your heart. Letting us know that Iman is in the heart. Iman is by, uh, it's, it's on the tongue. And Iman is on the limbs. You know, it's action. So it's, that's one of the evidences to show us that Iman is made up of all that. And going back to the usul of Iman, as is mentioned in the Hadith of Jibreel, when the Prophet Sallallahu was asked by Jibreel, Alayhi Salatu Salaam, Ya Muhammad Akhbirani Al-Islam, and then in the second uh, statement he said, Wa Akhbirani on Iman, and tell me about Iman. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam responded by saying, uh, Al-Iman, in tu'mina billahi wal malaikati wa kutubihi wa rasulihi wa liyum al-akhir wa tu'mina wa tu'mina bi qadri khayri wa shar the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam responded by saying and giving us the usul of iman the usul of sitta the six pillars of iman that iman is uh, is believing in Allah in tu'mina billahi wa malaiki and the angels wa malaikati wa kutubihi and his books wa rasulihi and his messengers and the day of judgment and believing in the divine destiny al qadr the good of it and the bad of it so all of that is a part of iman and the first pillar being and took me in believing in Allah and this is what the shaykh was saying nu'min nu'minu billahi wa bi asmahi wa bi asmaihi wa sifati that we believe in Allah in his divine names and attributes and then he described uh the, uh, mentioning uh, the ex the explainer of this, mentioning that that this is uh, the the in relation to the categories of tawhid, the rububiyatillah, uluhiyatillah, wa al asma'i wa sifat, and this is what the sheikh was specifically mentioning. That in the beginning, uh, the sheikh said, "Nuk we believe." 